Okay, what's up guys? This is Mitch from Mitch Tarantulas and um, I've gotten a request to do a full collection tour update. So I guess that's what I will be doing. <laughs> so up here we have my Salmopius Pulker, which is an pre-molt, so I doubt we'll get a look of her. But she's suspect female, she's getting pretty big. Now up there in the back, you can see we've got my quote-unquote Samopis Rodankus, but um, it's actually a mature male Victory now, which, to be honest, is a good thing. It's unfortunate it's a male, but a Victory is kind of a lot cooler than a female, and I've got um, uh, a Victory is a lot cooler than a Rodankus, and I've got um. A breeder loan setup for a 40 60 split, so I'll be getting some Victory Spiderlings out of that. Here we've got my Samopius Cambridge, she's a pretty big female. Then here we've got my Acanthus Curia Genicolata, she's starting to grow too, she's getting a decent size. Here's my Brachypelma Vegans, also female. Then here we've got my Cericopelma angustum. It's like a Brachypelma vegans but fluffier, pretty much. We've got a Brachypelma calambergi, also female. Just like the vagans, but a browner carapace, I guess. There's not much difference. Over here we have my um, GBV. But got a black slide in there to see her. There you go. Big female, well, big, she's okay size. Here we've got my big Brachypelma ram female. Then when we come down here, we've got uh, a male Brachypelma albopelosum. He needs a rehouse at some point. There he is. And there we've got a Lassiodora Parahibana. Oh, what's that light? Okay, there we go. A Lassiodora Parahibana. Here we've got an Embol 4 communal of four. But I rarely ever see those. It's been a long time since I've seen all four of them out. So I'm starting to worry if they're still far in there. But it's both four, I reckon I'll be fine. So here we've got a Heterometris Petersi Scorpion which recently molted for the second time in my care in almost two years, but I don't ever see it. It's got like a burrow in the bottom somewhere. So yeah, I've got a Brachypelma Bomai here. Suspect male, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure, kind of, you know. Here we've got a female Brachypelma Emilia, which is also gonna get a rehouse soon. I've got those four tabs ready for these four. I haven't gotten around to rehousing them yet. Okay, in the bottom here we've got a Brachypelma Colossi. This is probably one of my favorite Brachypelmas. Really nice girl. We've got a, a Grammastola Rosea here. She's pretty boring. I don't like the Rosea very much. We've got a Nando Chromatis here, which is starting to get up to size. Here's another Chromatopalma Sanipobescens, the GBB, starting to get some size. I'm hoping this is the male so I can mate him. Here I've got a Brachypalma Avopolos in Nicaragua. And here is a Formictopus Trichomatis, I think, suspect female, telling from the coloration. But I can't really say for sure. Here I've got a Brachypalma Albiceps. And over here is my male Brachypelma Hamori. And above is the female Brachypelma Hamori. And here we've got a Brachypelma Verdesi. This one's female, pretty sure it's female. Brachypelma Sabellosum, female. I need to refill up water dish. Here I've got my male Brachypelma Oratum. And then here is a Pitzelteria ornata, female, but a small juvenile female. Here we've got my P. metallica, 
behind that cord bark. And it's a male, unfortunately. Here we've got a Pyrigallus, which is probably also male, telling, judging by the leg span, because it's got a massive leg span compared to the body. And then we come down here. Uh, you've got a Caravan of Versicolor. She's like in the corner over here. She molted like yesterday. So that's pretty exciting. I'm gonna have to pull that mole out and give it a sexer and stuff. She's getting big. Here I've got a HMAC. Female, you can see the legs sticking out of there. This is also a small juvenile, fe juvenile female. And I'm really excited for this one because HMAC is like my favorite tarantula. Period. Here we've got um, Tapanakinius violaceus, and I've not seen it in a very long time. But yeah, my friend was like, "Oh, you gotta give your our boils tubes," and so I did, and now I don't see him anymore. Okay, so here we've got a Gramostola pulchropes, and there somewhere. You know what they look like, the charcoal golden knees. You've got a Gramostola pulchra, just a small spiderling. There's a, a what do they call it again, Ceratogyrus meridionalis. Also, no clue what the sex is. We've got a Hirodula species gold here, an adult female. And over here, we have a, a Philo. Philocrania paradoxa ghost mantis mature male. So if you're in Belgium and you've got a female, hit me up and I can maybe hook you up. And now we've got my smallest slings, is my um, OBT. Another Nandochromatus, which is a bit smaller. I've got a Harpactera pulchropes there in the corner. You've got a Haplocosmia. Himalayana, which is starting, finally starting to pick up some size. It was tiny when I got it and never saw it, but now it's kind of starting to come out and getting a bit of size. Here's a Tsiratajara species Mozambique, which might just be a locality from, um, what are they called? Not Darlini, not the... Um, Can't think of it, whatever. Might just be a colomorph of um, one of the Sratagyrus. Uh, here we've got a set knock name is Bracaramosa, which I think I suspect male because they get blue legs as females, but pinkish legs as males when I can see it sitting at like the burrow sometimes its legs out. They look pinkish, so yeah. Uh, here we've got a Ceratogyrus brachycephalus wild form. So this one's really cool. It's like burrow down there. And then we've got Lassiodora striatopus in here, which I guess I can show you because she's always there. See, she needs a rehouse too. But she's growing one of those tubs when those four get rehoused. So, And then in the back here, we've got a Betzelteria species lowland. So it's a Fusca Lowland. Here's a Petzalterra rufilata. Here we've got Psalmopius ecclesiastica, as you can see the legs sticking out there. Here we've got a Ciriopagopus lividum, or Haplopelma, whichever you think it should be. Ciriopagopus minax, and our Nicthonus overotibialis. So that's all my tarantulas. There should still be a Halloween crab in here, but I highly doubt it's still alive. I don't know, I've not seen it in over months. It's not touching its food or anything. It's not burrowing or doing any, I don't know. I don't know. Um, this is my red runner roach colony. I mean, I don't think I even need to show this, but yeah, roaches. There's a lot of babies in there. Focus. Okay, there's a lot of babies if I was to go through it. If I go through, I need to go wash my hands again, so I'm not gonna, but yeah.
These are my red runners. These are my dubias. The male there. And then I've got some ants still. Um, or some Fultilina. And this is a, an ant nest I got the other day. But the ants are still in there for some reason. And they're refusing to move. Not even still alive. Yeah, the queen's fine. They didn't look very alive. They dragged some stuff tree inside. Uh, I was hoping they were gonna move into there, but they're not really. Because they have that thing here that's keeping it all nice and humid in there. This tube. So I was like, hell yeah. But yeah. And there's another queen in there. We're waiting for her to move to here, but she's not. Then we've got another small colony here. I'm waiting for them to move into there, but they're not. And then I've got my probably biggest colony right now. These guys, they're doing fine. But occasionally one of them escapes, and I'm kind of concerned about that. <laughs> I haven't figured out where, I just sometimes find one running outside. So just kind of yeah, tossing back in. Oh boy, it doesn't look attached properly very well. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Whatever. Maybe that's where the ants were escaping from. <laughs> oh well. Um, those were last year's Niger, all of them. Uh, so I think that's everything in here, right? Yeah. I got everything in here. That's all the animals that were in here. The isopods that I had in there had like some orange pieces of isopod in that little tub and some dwarf whites are no longer in there because uh, I removed them and I placed them. Oh yeah, I did these LEDs and stuff, which I think look pretty cool. And I can just beep. Very nice. And then there's one more thing that I can show you is in here so up here I've got Ectosoma tiratum and there I've got a bunch of Purophasma shulti these are the black beauty stick insects these are Australian something these eat bramble these eat lingustrum I've got some room plants and stuff I like collecting plants now this is all Calithia, this is a Monstera. Uh, over here is my Pac-Man frog enclosure, Pepe, he's saying over there. So that's his home. That's where I put all the, the leftover isopods and stuff so they could make this bioactive. There's springtails and isopods in there. Uh, here's my leopard gecko enclosure. You can see her tail over there. She's called Cheddar. She's a sweetie. The enclosure is doing fine. And the plants on this side are doing good. The succulents. All the plants I place on this side kind of die because I've got a heat cable that runs through there under the soil, and I think that's burning the roots. But I might switch out and put some tiles or slates there, and uh. Put the ceramic heat emitter there and the daylight bulb there. That way the tile should get heated up and she st should still get belly heat because they need heat from below to digest food. So I've been reluctant to take the heat cable out. But I think to make this bioactive work properly I should. I've been misting up down this side occasionally as well to make this a bit more humid. Because our moist hide is that tube. Moist hide. But yeah. Then down there we've got Char, my crested gecko, he's like, it's not going to focus through the mesh, but he's like in the sensitive area, like behind that leaf. This is his enclosure, it's doing great. The Calithia in there is doing fantastic, it's getting too big even, I might have to remove it. But oh well, it's doing great. And I think that's all the animals I own. There are some more plants there, plants, plants, I've got plants all over.
because oxygen's good for you. That's all the pets I own currently. I am getting some uh, assassin bugs in soon. Like those red kind of beetle things that eat other things. I'm getting like 10 of those. So I might, might make a video on those. I don't know yet. I may be selling a Pyrophasma Shultai and getting a different species of stick insect. But yeah. I had a Pseudoclamorus gigas. But it turned out to be a mature male, so I sold that one. Didn't do a breeder loan, just straight up sold it. Because, I don't know. I don't really care for gigas. I raised one up and I was like, meh. Pretty boring species. <laughs> don't see y'all that often. But yeah, I don't know what else to, to say or show. That was a collection tour from each tarantulas and other bugs and stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope I can see you guys in another future upload. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.